Hello, my beautiful Scorpios. My name is Jennifer from JenniferWalkerZen.com. Here to bring you your monthly forecast for February 6th to the 29th. Guys, don't forget to check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign for more information. And of course, if you like a personal read with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerson.com, or check out the description box below. Also, remember this is for singles, couples, or anyone in between, or anyone who needs love messages. Okay, so we're gonna do the overall, then I'm gonna get advice from the romance angels. And then I'm going to work on your career and finance. And career and finance can be found in this spread which is the monthly and also the mid-monthly so if you're interested in that those are the um the spreads you can find them okay let's jump right in what's going on my scorpio's romantic love life for february 6th to the 29th what's going on my scorpio's romantic love life for february 6th to the 29th what's going on my scorpio's romantic love life for february 6th to the 29th what's going on my scorpio's romantic love life for february 6th to the 29th all right that feels good and the smaller cards, I apologize, it's gonna be a little bit noisier. What's going on my Scorpio's Romantic Love Life for February 6th to the 29th? Scorpio's Romantic Love Life for February 6th to the 29th. Scorpio's Romantic Love Life for February 6th to the 29th. Scorpio's Romantic Love Life for February 6th to the 29th. Scorpio's Romantic Love Life for February 6th to the 29th. Scorpio's Romantic Love Life for February 6th to the 29th. All right, so it looks like Scorpio, you are defending your position. You feel like you have the higher ground to defend your position here with this um, Seven of Wands energy. This is saying that you have the higher ground to defend your position, that you can win this, all right? Around whatever you're wishing your hope is here with the star card energy, you can defend this position. You know, you you can you can win this, this situation or and it looks like also for some of you, you may be defending your position around family members, around friends, even maybe even your love interest about what your wishes are in your situation. And the reason is, is because the tower car, what's that mean? Towers about change, sudden change, upheaval. Okay. Some kind of big change here, universal change here. Um, because the tower card is like car breaking down tower card. Okay, winning the lottery, tower card energy. It's something unexpected, it's something big, it's some kind of change, some kind of sudden upheaval. So sevens are about thinking and contemplating. So a lot of thinking and contemplating here about this change in this current situation here. What's the blockage? Six of pentacles energy. So the blockage is wanting an equal give and take. It's a charity card, wanting an equal give and take or an equal amount of time here with the six of pentacles energy. And feeling like you want stability or stableness or something to do with an anchor or work here with the, the anchor card energy. And it's something around an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy, okay? Or making a wise choice when it comes to passion and wanting stability and stableness and wanting an equal give and take here with the Six of Pentacles energy. Sixes are about healing and recovery and putting the work or effort into that with the three plus five energy, which is eight. All right, so what's going on in the foundation of the matter? Okay, oh Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. So there is some kind of action towards passion. There is some kind of passion coming up for you or something in the foundation around an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy and something that could be very sudden, lucky, uh, unexpected here with the Clover card energy around work. Eight of Pentacles, work, school, apprenticeship here. Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so there's some kind of movement towards passion or a passionate uh, situation going on here or something around an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy and a choice to put the worker effort into this. Whoa, okay, what's up with that? What's going on, Scorpio? What happened in the past? Three of Cups, something to do with friendship, celebration, more than one choice or option. And there is something to do with a person here that was confused about what they wanted around their choices and their options. Now, friends could have influenced the situation in your romantic love life in the past, something to do with around friends, something to do with having more than choice, more than one choice option and being confused about what that choice or option was going to be, not knowing it, like looking at different options and like, I don't know, this looks good, but this doesn't look good. I'm not sure, I'm not certain. Okay, so at the head of the matter here, there is some worry and anxiety here going on here, Scorpio. Nine of Swords shows me you got some sleepless nights going on here. Maybe you feel imprisoned by your situation, imprisoned by your thoughts here. Why? 
because of something to do with a long time or patient energy here, which is causing you worry or something around something to do with a long time is causing you worry. Uh, because there's defeated energy. Should I stand up and fight or should I walk away? Okay. And fives are about a challenge or a change around your wishes, obtaining something with the nine energy. So it's wish fulfillment or is something obtaining. Threes are about putting, um, building something in the situation, team effort uh, around some kind of change or challenge around the situation with the five of swords. So it's something to do with a challenge or change what you're feeling defeated about because of a long time. And this is bringing you some worry and anxiety at the head of the matter. Okay, so, or the person that you're dealing with, okay? So this is what's going on at the head of the matter. There's a defeated energy and there's a worry and anxiety around this because it's something to do with a long time or patient energy. Okay, so near future, we got this eight of pentacles again. All right, so something to do with something around work, school apprenticeship here, or making a decision to put the work or effort into this, okay? Maybe some of you are focused on work with the Eight of Pentacles energy. I have the Fox card can be a nine to five job here. Okay, so Fox is showing me making a decision to put the work or effort into this, okay? Fox is using your intelligence. Wow, Page of Wands represents an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy again getting a lot of those fire energy here. Uh, so there is a decision being put in uh, to put the work or effort into it pertaining to an Aries Sagittarius Leo energy or something to do with exploring out there, seeing what's out there, using your intelligence to put that work and effort into it. But feeling like one plus five is there's some kind of change going on here in the near future around putting this work or effort into this because of something to do with an Aries Sagittarius Leo energy or because of a message of passion comes in or a new path of passion here with the Page of Wands energy. Hmm. Subconsciously. Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. You feel like you are making a wise choice when it comes to your long-term commitments. You are feeling like you're making wise choices that you are in charge of the situation because of the fact that there is some kind of, you want some kind of commitment. You want some kind of long-term commitment, marriage, you know, and you're holding on for a short success. So in your subconscious, you wanted to make wise choices when it comes to long-term commitments. You want something around a marriage, long-term commitment, traditional values possibly with the ring card in energy or engagement or commitment in your situation. And you're holding on to this idea for short success. So you're hoping this works out here. You want some kind of good thing to happen with that. So fours are about stability and stableness and you're doing a lot of thinking and contemplating around that 2.5, 2 plus five, 2.5. So the influence here, seven of swords, that's an interesting influence. It's almost like there's a person that's spying on you, Scorpio. There is an influence of, the, see, see this person that's shining a flashlight your way, all right? They're shining a flashlight there because there's some kind of deception or sneakiness going on, hmm, which is the influence. Why is that there? Because of the fact that someone possibly needs to gain some kind of courage and strength with the bear card energy. They want to gain control around the situation because they've been doing a lot of waiting around to see how things are going to play out. Okay. So there is something deceptive, sneaky, or someone's not being honest about gaining kind of courage or strength around the situation, wanting to gain control with the bear card energy because they've been doing a lot of waiting around. Okay, what it feels like to me, Scorpio, is the influence is someone is, is digging around trying to figure out what's going on with you, okay? And they uh, don't have the courage possibly to come to you, so they're doing it in an underhanded way with the Seven of Swords energy, and that also could explain that Fox card energy here. Because the fox can be manipulation, can be something deceptive, sneaky going on here in the near future. Uh, around work, school apprenticeship could be potentially happening around work. There could be someone who's going out there and checking you out and seeing what's going on with you, Scorpio. Because they've been waiting around to see how things are going to play out. They just they feel like they've invested time into the situation. And they, they may not have the courage and strength to come at this straightforward. So they may be doing it in a deceptive way. That's the influence here. And there's two seven cards. There's a lot of thinking and contemplating going on about one plus five, which is six, healing, recovery, or love. 
That's the influence. Hmm. There's some secrets happening there with that Seven of Swords energy. Something deceptive or sneaky going on because someone wants some healing or recovery. And they've been doing a lot of thinking and contemplating where they feel like they've been waiting around a while here. Hmm. Okay. Let's see what the hopes or fears for you, for you, Scorpio. Okay. So we got the Empress card energy, which is love and abundance. And it looks like you're having... So I think this is your fear, actually. Empress is here because of something to do with love and abundance and stress or anxiety, or you feel like something's going to be taken away or ended here with the death card energy. That's definitely a fear. Okay, so let's see what the outcome is going to be. So considering that influence, that's really strange influence. Seven of Swords, sneaky or deceptive behavior around someone who is trying to gain courage or strength or control around the situation because they feel like they've been waiting around to see how things are going to play out. Okay, all right. Um, okay, so the outcome is two of cups energy. So something around a soulmate connection here in the outcome. And there's that emperor card. So look, look at that. That's interesting. The bear represents is, it's similar energy as the emperor energy. It's something to do with a boss or taking charge of the situation. So it's interesting. There is a soulmate connection here in the outcome. Two of cups or choice that's going to be made towards love because someone's going to take control of the situation. And also, by the way, the emperor can be around work again. <laughs> that's interesting. For some of you Scorpios, there's something that's going to be taking place around your workplace here. Okay, so be aware of that. All right, uh, soulmate connection, possibly a boss or something to do with this person who is going to gain control of the situation. Someone's gaining control of their love life because of a soulmate connection, choice towards love. Okay, and they're going to speak their truth. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Wow, wow, that is really interesting, Scorpio. All right, let me move this aside for a second here. Why is the Two of Cups here? The wheel of fortune is turning in your favor. It's soulmate connection. Your soulmate connection or choice towards love, the universe is moving in your favor. There is some kind of message or visitor or news that's going to happen because of this around a soulmate connection. Why is the emperor card here? The emperor card is here because someone has regret about the past. They're crying over spilled milk here. And they're having hurt and pain here. So there's news about hurt or pain or something to do with something repetitive here. Also, the whip can be the work, nine to five job, okay? And we'll see what else, let's see what else. Wow, and the universe moves in your favor, luck is on your side. Someone has regret about the past, they're crying over spilled milk because they are indecisive. They feel like there's some kind of indecision and they wanna speak their truth about it, okay? And there's news about hurt or pain pertaining to someone's happiness or something that's revealed around the situation with the sun card energy wow this is going to be an interesting month for you scorpio oh my goodness a soulmate connection choice towards love because someone gains control to uh, or uh something around work because someone's going to speak their truth queen of swords energy the universe is moving in your favor you're going to hear some kind of news or you're going to receive a message here about somebody's hurt or pain because they're having regret about the past because of some kind of indecision uh, around speaking their truth pertaining to their happiness the sun card energy wow this is crazy this is a crazy outcome okay let's get some advice for you scorpio can i have some advice for my scorpio's romantic love life february 6th to the 29th can I have some advice for my Scorpio's romantic love life for February 6th to the 29th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. Whoa. So this situation involves marriage. Holy crap. Okay. And something to do with uh, a new opportunity of love or renewed love with the new love card. I'm going to clarify that. Okay, so advice, something to do with commitment and something to do with new love or an opportunity renewed love here. So let's just clarify, why is this wedding card here? Why is this wedding card here? Why is this wedding card here for the advice? Temperance, being patient about an equal give and take and having all the tools you need for a commitment or marriage and making the choice here, Scorpio. Why is new love here? Why is new love here? Why is new love here? 
Three of Pentacles, something to do with work, a work environment, a team environment, a more than one choice or option pertaining to love here, and a soulmate connection. There's a soulmate again card. And making a wise choice when it comes to long-term commitment. Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. All right. Um, I'm just going to pull one more advice card here, guys. All right. Can I have some advice for my Scorpios, romantic love life? What should they do for February 6th to the 29th? What should Scorpio do about their romantic love life for February 6th to the 29th? Show them the cards they need to see. Show them the cards they need to see. Transcend, transcendence. Transcend your mind's limitations and allow your light to truly shine. So they're saying, Scorpio, to transcend your limitations of what your, your mind feels like there's limitations around the situation to allow things to transcend. OK, allow your soul's light to truly shine here. And obviously you have a soulmate connection going on and they're saying to use your intuition around the situation. Trust your intuition. It has been guiding you to the answers that you seek. So. So allow things, allow things not to limit you in this situation, Scorpio, and to use your intuition to trust your guidance. Your guidance is guiding you. It, it will guide you into the right situation. And there's something to do with commitment, marriage that's involved with a situation pertaining to new love or renewed love here with the new love card. Okay, so let me get some advice to you guys for your career and finance. Can I have some advice for Scorpio's career and finance for February 6th to the 29th? Can I have some advice? For my Scorpios, career and finance for February 6th to the 29th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. I, that is just a crazy outcome. Wow. You are deserving, Scorpio. So in your career and finance, you are deserving. Okay. You are a beloved child of God. Like everyone else, you deserve to receive the support that will allow you to focus on your divine life purpose. And they want you to work on your manifestation here with that, that card right there. Increase your manifestation. Increase your energy to manifestation so you can manifest. Okay. And think of people as working together, not as competition. So uh, view other people as just be thankful for other people around you. Don't see them as competition. And um, know that what is yours is yours and no one can take it from you. There is no need to compete. There is enough abundance for all. All right, my darlings. Wow. Let me know in the comments below, guys, and what is going on with the situation. This is crazy. It's like a soulmate connection, and there is something to do with some of you for pertaining to a worker, or a boss, or someone who's going to gain control to speak their truth. And because the universe is moving in your favor, because there's some kind of regret about an indecision, you're going to hear some kind of news about a hurt or pain, and something is going to be revealed about someone's happiness or something to do with the happy things here because the sun card is at the end of that spread. Oh my goodness. And also that, that, that the whole influence, the seven of swords, it's like there's some kind of deceptive thing going on here because someone who's wanted to gain control or gain strength because they've been waiting around to see how things are going to play out. My goodness, Scorpio. All right. I love you guys so much. If you like this, please like and subscribe. And of course, if you like a personal reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkers.com or check out the description box below. I love you guys so much and have a great month.